Good morning, Facebook. Happy Tuesday. Um, I, <laughs> um, I don't know what to do with myself because I only have one kid at home. So uh, everybody else is in school. We got five kids in school and life is good. <laughs> Um, hey, if you don't see that live button up in the corner up there, that means you're watching a replay. Go ahead and do hashtag replay. If you do see that live button and you can hear me well, do me a favor and give me like rapid fire heart so that I know that you can hear me and everything's working. If you can see me, do a hashtag hi mama seven. Uh, so I know that's working. Thank you for the hearts. If you can hear my amazing rooster crowing in the background, go ahead and give me I don't know if you can hear them. Give me some rooster emojis or something. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite things in the morning is actually all day long is to hear my rooster crow. It's uh, it's it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, huh, if you've never seen my face before, my name is Vicky. Uh oh, I was just thinking this morning. I'm like, my phone hasn't been reconnecting. And look, it reconnected. But anyway, my name is Vicky Verstrait, and I run a mission-based company through Unique. So what that means is every month I choose a family in need or facing a hardship in our community, and I donate a portion of my commission to them to help them out. So today, hi Natalie, thanks for watching. Hi Kennedy. Um, today, okay. So you saw probably last week I was showing you these liquid shadows. Um, in addition to the coffee shop in town, I now have an addiction to um, our new liquid shadows because they are so versatile and so easy to use. And even better yet, they last all day. I put them on in the morning and I swear when I put the kids to bed at like 9, well, by the time I'm done putting them to bed by 9 o'clock, my makeup is still on. And um, I just, I feel like they hold so much better than powder. Uh, shadows. So I actually ordered three more shades and <laughs> had them rush to me. So as soon as I get those, I will show you the new shades. But I want to show you, last time I showed you how to put it on with just like patting your finger, I'm going to show you how to use it with our cream shadow brush. And I'm, dang it, it reconnected again. That's a pain. Um, I'm also going to show you how you can use it with powdered shadows. Okay. So this is the color Reverend. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wand and I'm going to spread it on my lid. And then I'm going to blend it in with the cream shadow brush. How's everybody doing today? I am doing awesome. Um, so our area, they, they bus the preschoolers to school. So by 7.30 this morning, five of my kids were at school. All right. Okay, this is frustrating. I thought I fixed the problem. Um... I thought I fixed the problem for the reconnecting. I was doing really good. There was an update to Facebook and I thought that I did it. But anyway, okay, so I'm just using my crease brush, um, not my crease brush, my um, cream shadow brush to blend this liquid shadow in. Um, you can use your finger. You can use whatever you want. I find that this works really, really great. Um, but anyway, so by 7.30 this morning, I had five kids out of the house and Maggie was still sleeping because Maggie is an angel and she slept till about 8.45 this morning. And I was able to have my coffee and like wake up and take a shower. Um, so that's why it is 9.01 and I am like happy. And <laughs> now granted when my kids got up, when my big kids got up at 5.45 this morning, I was not happy. But um, now I'm awake. Okay, so did you see how easy I just like blended that in with this? cream shadow brush. Now I'm going to do my crease color, which is this business-like. It's kind of like a rose gold. I'm not rose gold. What am I talking about? Rose pink. And I'm just going to put a little dab in the crease. Reconnecting. Seriously, I thought I had this problem figured out. So I know it looks ridiculous right now. All you do is take that brush and just blend it in to where you want it to go. Blend, blend, blend. So, um, yeah, so it's just nice to have some quiet mornings after a really, really busy summer. Henry is adjusting to preschool. So far, so good. He um, he loves riding the bus. The bus driver is great. Um, and uh, it's just, it's really great being able to spend some quality time with Maggie because she really doesn't get that too much. I was telling Remy yesterday, I'm like, it was actually like fun being a stay-at-home mom yesterday um, because... 
like when I first became a stay-at-home mom, when Remy was born <laughs> almost 13 years ago, it was fun. We used to do fun things. And then as I had more and more and more kids, I realized it was just like management of the house and we don't do fun things anymore. So um, it was nice to do some fun things with, with Maggie. I took her to the park. I took her to the coffee shop. Um, I actually invested in someone to clean my house once a month because I felt like I couldn't keep up with that. So when I came home, my house was clean and I had a great day with Maggie. It was just really wonderful. Um, okay, so I put those two colors on my lids. Now, you can choose to put powder shadows with this. It blends very, very nicely. So I'm just going to take, this is our new, let me take it out of here. Our new um, brownish color this is a pressed shadow, and these are infused with primer. So these stay on really, really well. This is called Earthy, and it's just like a dirt color. <laughs> For back, lack of better words, it's a dirt color. And I'm going to take my crease brush, and I'm just going to kind of put it in the... Thank you for your patience with the reconnecting. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put it just right in the corner here, give my eye a little bit of dimension and depth. Um, you don't need a lot. And then it blends right into that liquid shadow. Um, what I like about the liquid shadow is once it dries, which is already dry, it is not like tacky or sticky feeling. It feels like you have nothing on your lids. So I really, really like that I'm not constantly reminded that I'm wearing makeup by like a yucky feeling. You know, I hate that yucky feeling like, oh, I'm wearing so much makeup, my face feels heavy. You don't feel that with the with the uh, liquid shadows at all. I really, really am happy with the quality with it. So I just put that little bit of brown powder in my corner and I am just going to blend it so it all blends together. You can, once these liquid shadows dry, they blend beautifully. So you don't have to worry about having any harsh lines or anything like that. Um, I'm just really, really thrilled with these. If you've gotten these and you've tried them, let me know how you, like, comment um, how you like them, what colors you got, what you do with them. Before I finish my eyes, um, because I need to put eyeliner and mascara on, I want to show you how else I use the liquid shadows. This has got to be my favorite way to use it, and I got to swipe the comment so I can see my face here. Okay, so I have foundation on already. I absolutely love using this as a highlighter and blush, so I'm going to use Reverend. Hi, Magpie. Don't knock down my knocked on my tripod and I'm just gonna put it right there and right there and I'm going to use this is a um, powder concealer brush and I'm gonna blend it in and this gives you that nice glow without looking too orange or Trumpish um, I just really love how this blends in so nicely I'm gonna get it blended a little bit better there um, I love the glow this gives me. And so who knew you could use eyeshadow on your cheeks? It just blends so nice. I'm holding my tripod while I do this because I don't want Maggie to knock it down. Right, Magpie? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. So if you wanted it a little bit pinker, so this is the, it's kind of like a champagne color. That's what I use just for like, um, right underneath my cheekbone. If you wanted a little bit more pink to your cheeks, do a dab of this is business-like. It's that pink I put on my eyes. And I'll just do a little bit right there. A little goes a long way. And love this stuff. Love, love, love. Yeah, so I bought, I think I bought the brownish color. It's more of a matte instead of shimmery like this. And I bought, I, I think it said plum brown. I don't know. I bought three more colors just because it's these are awesome and fast. Like you can get your makeup on so so fast and look like look like you spent hours doing it. So that's what I did to my cheeks. You can also use this as lipstick. Um, I don't think it stays on as well as the liquid the splash liquid lipstick, but I do think that you know if you're in a pinch and you throw this in your purse and you want you're like oh my gosh and you're like I need something on my lips. Mama. Very fast and easy. All right, I'm gonna put some eyeliner on Mags. You got it. Can you sit on the bed behind me? She probably wants breakfast. Um, I'm just gonna put some eyeliner on. So you can get two shadow colors of your choice, um, plus the new lash primer, plus the mascara, plus 
an awesome makeup bag or purse, however you want to use it. This guy, whoop, nope, this guy. Um, you're going to save money if you buy it in that bundle. Um, and I think it comes out to you're actually getting the bag and the primer for free if you buy it in the bundle. So if you need mascara, it's a better deal to buy it in the bundle with the two um, two shadows than buying everything separately. I'm just going to put some eyeliner on. We know that I cannot talk until I put eyeliner on. Oh, 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 magpie. Nope. Sorry, she's getting into my stuff. Hang on, magpie. Oh, my. There. Just trying to get a makeup wipe or makeup removing wipe, you know? There we go. So our dog, Lily, everybody's been asking me how's Lily's doing. She's doing okay. Um, she seems to be <laughs> vibrant. Um, the only problem we had this morning, we woke up and we found a couple drops of blood underneath of where she was laying last night to sleep. Um, and uh, I can't figure out where it's coming from. She's been licking her paws a lot, but that, hang on, I can't talk and do my eyeliner at the same time. One second. Okay, so um, she's been licking her paws a lot, and she kept me awake a lot last night licking her paws. So I don't know if she's injured or something, or she's been, like, biting at her paws. Um... Part of Cushing's disease is it affects you neuro neurologically, and so they obsessively lick even though they're not hurt. Um, so um, I was looking at her paws. This oh, my sister's calling. Hang on. Okay, I was looking at her paws this morning, and she wouldn't let me see them. She was tucking them underneath her body. So I'm wondering if she's she's got a little boo boo or something. I don't know because she's licking both of her front paws. Uh, so we got to keep an eye on that. But otherwise, she's doing good for an old dog with cancer and Cushing's disease. Um, we thought that we were going to lose her last week, but she's kind of come back alive and <laughs> is like, hey, I'm here, I'm here, don't kill me. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just playing on the lash primer. This does come in the bundle. Can you hear her licking? I don't know if you can hear Lily licking next to me. Um... I like to use this lash primer wet so I don't let it dry and get tacky. I uh, put my mascara on right away. I feel like if it gets dry, it's harder to put the mascara on smoothly. So, whoop, I got a little under my eye here. Dang it, I don't know what I need to do about this reconnecting on my phone. As I said, I did the Facebook update and it did fine and I wasn't having any issues with reconnecting and now today it's reconnecting every minute. So this is the 40 mascara. Just put that on over the over the primer and it gives you even longer lashes and it stays on. I love that the primer keeps my mascara on. It doesn't fall under my eyes. Um, if my eyes get sweaty, I have like oily eyelids. So nothing's like slip. Thank you, Facebook, for being so cooperative this morning. If you like when I put mascara on for my lives, I rush because I don't want you to wait while you're having to watch me put mascara on and it never looks as good as when I take the time and do it. Uh, let's do my under my eye here. And... Oh, I want to show you something else. I can't forget with the liquid shadows. You can like line underneath your eye with the liquid shadows and it gives it almost a nice, I don't want to say smoky look, but it's, it kind of completes the look. Let me finish my mascara and then I'll do that. And then we'll be done for the day and I will enjoy my magpie until Henry comes home from school. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. oh, I'm trying to think of anything else going on. Nothing. Nothing. We're good over here. Um, things are things are good. Our pregnancy is going well. Um, you know, I have gestational diabetes, and um, so far so good. As long as I eat correctly, I'm able to keep my sugars in check, and so um, I don't have to do like insulin or anything as of right now. Um, it's going well, and if you don't know, um, we are planning another home birth, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm very much like a hands-off. I don't like people touching me when I'm in labor, so um, it's really great. I'm excited to hopefully have my first water birth um, because I know that really helps with the discomfort of labor. When I was in labor with Henry, I got into our bathtub, and it really helped with the pain so much that I didn't even know that I was actually in active labor. So um, I can't, I'm hoping this time with uh, with Maggie, I don't think we had enough time to set up the tub. So I told Remy, I'm like, we are setting up that birthing tub at like 36 weeks. So we don't have any, <laughs> any reason why I can't have a water birth this time. So this is probably our last time having a baby. And... Um, my last chance at a water birth. So that's the plan. I'm really excited about that. Um, that's not coming until December-ish. Um, I'm just putting a little bit of this liquid shadow on my hand so I can dip my crease brush in it and then put it under my eye. Um, we have been talking. We're probably going to be doing a no visitor thing for a few days. Um, so don't be surprised if you call me and you want to stop by and I'm like, we're not having visitors right now. Um, that's for a few reasons. Um, adjusting to seven kids, I think it's going to, uh, rock my world. And, um, I also, um, you know, I want to be able to spend that time with the baby. They are so little, so short of a time that, um, you know, it's my last baby, I think. And, um, I just really want to cherish those first two days. So um, don't be offended if we say no visitors. Also, if you remember, Maggie was in the ICU or um, pediatric ICU at three weeks old because she somehow got RSV and viral pneumonia. And um, it was really, really bad. And I'll be honest, I am having like a little bit of germaphobe PTSD that this baby is going to get sick being a December baby. So don't be offended if I say, nope, we're not having kids come over. We're not having um, visitors. Um, it's just um, to protect my mental well-being as well as protect the baby. So, yeah, I'll put that out there. You know, we've got like three months, a little less than three months left. Um, just don't want anybody, I don't want it to come to a shock to anybody. Gosh, I wish I would have done my hair today. Nope, I forgot to swipe comments back. Sorry. And that is it. That is how much I love those liquid shadows. You see how I just kind of lined it under my eye while I was yapping at you? How easy that is. And it just gives it a nice, I uh, hope you can see it, just a little bit of uh, bringing that color down under your eye. If you have um, an eye color that you love, like I love my green eyes, and I feel like when I bring that, that eyeshadow down a little bit under my eyes, eyeliner, um, it really makes my eyes pop. So go ahead and experiment with that. Don't feel like... Um, you have to follow rules. There's no rules to make up. Do what makes you feel good. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy the sunshine today. Bye-bye.